Okay, welcome back to the vlog. We're here at our outpatient IR lab at Park Club Lane for Great Lakes Medical Imaging. Uh, we're actually borrowing the boss's office. Hey boss. I share. Uh, because we don't have our marker board set up. Hopefully though, in a few days, maybe a couple weeks for you guys, you'll see our new office. Interventional radiology is doing minimally invasive surgeries using image guidance. We do several procedures through small incisions. We keep patients out of the hospital and get them home as quickly as possible. My name is Dr. John Marshall, with this cool white coat, and today we're going to talk about varicoceles on the vlog. Cue intro music. So today on the vlog, we're treating a varicocele, and what that is, is essentially varicose veins of the scrotum. And this affects many men, and it causes things like infertility, chronic pain, low testosterone. In this particular case, we're treating it for infertility reasons. Like varicose veins in the leg, we can go into the venous system with catheters and wires. So I'm going to draw you a picture, because this is a little bit confusing otherwise. Clearly these markers are all dried out. Virginia, you need new markers. The, the pink one works. Don't judge my drawing. Actually, that's, that's like not too bad. Let us know in the comments below how you feel about how awesome this drawing is or how bad it is. Here's the scrotum. We have two testicles. What happens is you get dilation of the veins in what's called the pampiniform plexus. And essentially you get just a bunch of dilated varicose veins in the scrotum. You can have it on one side versus the other. More common on the left, but you can't have them on both sides or bilaterally as we say. And what they are is just dilated veins, the same as you would see varicose veins in the legs. The reason why you get the varicose veins here is that you've got the veins supplying these or draining this area. It's called the internal spermatic vein. And on the left, it comes off of the left renal veins. There's the kidney here, kidney here. And then the right side usually comes off directly off of the inferior vena cava or the IVC, which is the big vein in the lower abdomen. In these veins here, you have little valves. And if those valves stop working, then you get reflux, you get blood moving down and blood will pool and back up down into the scrotum. In and of themselves, the veins are not problematic, but the testicles are very sensitive to temperature. So having slight increase in blood flow will have a slight increase in temperature, which can actually decrease sperm production. So that's actually why you can get infertility in the setting of a varicocele. Having that high venous pressure can also cause aching and pain, worse with standing, better with rest, or typical history people talk about. So the way we do it is we enter the right jugular vein. If you saw our tips vlog, we'll link it up here. Then we took the same approach. Switch to black now, since Becky got us this new, new marker. So I'll enter the vein with a needle there under ultrasound. I'll pass this, my catheter and wire combination down through the heart here, down in here, into the left renal vein. And then I'll try to engage this small vein here, get my catheter into it. We can then inject contrast or x-ray dye. You can fill up and see those varicoceles down there. That's the way we know we're in the right vein. So once my catheter is all the way down here, I can place permanent metallic coils. And those metallic coils will make a coil pack down here and will block off that part of the vein. I'll then inject something called sodium tetradecyl sulfate or STS for short, which is a, a scarring agent, a sclerosing agent that the veins don't like. Fill up the vein with that and I'll put a nice laid out coil here to seal it all off. We'll then take out our catheter and if the patient has one on the other side, select into this one and do the same thing. Pull everything out, press on the neck to stop the bleeding and we're good to go. So we've treated the varicoceles from a minimally invasive approach, all going right from the neck. So now we're gonna go into the case. Armed with this knowledge, you can hopefully sort of make sense of what we're doing. All right, let's go. Oh, by the way, we have a new addition to the family. This is Taylor. This is our new surge tech. And uh, she just started with us, so uh, welcome Taylor. <laughs> Say hi to Taylor in the comments below. Gary, can you please do me a picture? I also like warned that. her yesterday. As always, first step is getting access. So we're going to use the ultrasound. We can see on the screen here the internal jugular vein. Use this local anesthetic to numb up the area first so the patient doesn't feel any of the manipulations that we do during the procedure. See my needle tip right there in the middle of the, the vein, that little black circle there? Thank you, Gary. See our wire goes down, we've gone through the heart, and we're down into the IVC. Next up is placing what's called a sheath, which is uh, acts as our access port, so we can go bring catheters and wires in and out of the vein without uh, antagonizing the entry point through the vein wall. I'll always hold my wire up top here whenever somebody's manipulating on the back end, because a little tug of the wire can pull it out in this case, it wasn't hard to get where we were, but if you're dealing with a selection that took you, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes to get into and someone accidentally yanks the wire, it doesn't make us a happy camper. 
Um, so I always take responsibility for my own wires, which is something they kind of teach you when you're doing your interventional training. I just got the catheter over the wire. Wire stays in place, catheter goes. Hold your breath, don't breathe, don't Good move. Job. in the internal spermatic vein right now, and uh, we're just selecting down, and we're gonna get down right to the bottom of it, and we're gonna start our treatment. Sometimes it's difficult for us to get down with our big catheters, so we have to use a small micro catheter, which is what we've done now. So we've engaged the top of the internal spermatic vein with our base catheter, our big, our big catheter, and now we've uh, advanced a small micro catheter within it, so catheter within a catheter, catheter exception, title for that, maybe. So we'll place our first coil now. Cute coil montage. Deployed our two coils, so we've sort of made a, a backstop. I'm gonna get Gary to do is I'm gonna get him to compress over the vein down below to prevent any of this material from going down into the scrotum. And I'm also gonna have our patient bear down and push down, which will increase the pressure in the abdomen and prevent the sotrodecal from going up out the top. Final coil on top to sandwich it in, so it's kind of a coil STS coil sandwich. And this is just one of the many ways that people can treat these. Some people will just use sotrodecal, some people will just use coils, some people use plugs. There's a whole bunch of ways to shut down veins. <laughs> so you can see no flow going down the internal spermatic vein before it was refluxing down. So uh, we've successfully occluded the vessel. So for sake of time, uh, we interrogated the right side. Um, the ultrasound findings uh, were equivocal for a varicocele on the other side. So what we do is we look for the vein. I engage the opening of the vein and when I inject a contrast, it didn't reflux down, meaning that there were valves in there that work correctly. So we didn't have to do anything because there was no problem for us to fix. So the right side was normal, left side was abnormal. Right now we just pull out our sheath uh, and catheter and wires and uh, just hold manually at the neck. Just like if you had a little cut on your arm, you would put pressure on it to stop the bleeding. We do the same thing at our puncture site. So there you have it, we finished our varicocele here. I don't think we've shown you guys that procedure yet. I learn something every day. You do. I'm basically gonna be performing those next week. I think we should have a bring your CEO the first to work first to volunteer? If you have, want to have a surgery done by this person, not a doctor. Consults only. Varicocele embos by V. We'll be <laughs> shut down the week thereafter, so there's that, but other than that, it's gonna be great. <laughs> the lawyer's banging down our doors. We're just gonna leave this diagram here for you to, for your viewing pleasure. I'm inspired. When you're doing your procedure, you can use it as a roadmap. Okay, I'll be like, Ooh. here's here's Chris's drawing. Okay, okay. I think I should <laughs> ha hang a left at the left renal real vein. You're gonna use the technical terms. I'm gonna use like hang left the, at the, kidney. the V. The V. Yeah, or the you know the large circle. <laughs> That's called the scrotum. Potato, potato. <laughs> Don't get so technical. There you go. If you have any questions about the procedure, uh, comment box below. But that's it, and I'm Dr. Chris, and we'll see you on the next case.